Uh, today, what we're going to do is I'm helping friends out uh, repair a uh, impeller and uh, seal it's leaking. Um, it's on a Flowmaster XB2, the pump you see right here. So what had happened was, is this part of the shaft on the impeller disintegrated inside, but it actually, you can see this is the one that came out, but this was frozen inside of the pump. So I'm going to take this part real quick, show you how I take the impeller out without using any tools. You'll see, you'll understand. Should be able to pry it a little bit, work the way around it. That's off. All right. Take off this. Now, this is the part we take the impeller out without using any tools to hold the impeller. Get yourself a nice rope that doesn't stretch. What I'm going to do is wrap the rope around the impeller and then overlap it. Okay, now since I'm overlapping it, I'm also going to go, I need it to hold steady. So I'll wrap around the case, make sure you don't let it slip off. Rope's not going to move. Okay, now hold the rope in there so it doesn't move. Get your handy dandy vice grips. You can see the end of the shaft. Get your vice grips in on the shaft. You want to go clockwise to turn the shaft because the impeller you take it off counterclockwise. And that's it. So that's how you hold it. That's how that's really how you get the impeller off. So now I just take the rope off. Power's out. Now the first one we took out, you can see all the pieces here. All these pieces are what's left from this sleeve. What had happened is the shaft was caked with rust and the rust pushed out onto the thing on that sleeve and basically cracked it and lets the water flow right through and out of the pump. So, pause the video now. So, um, I'm taking these four screws out back of this. I'm going to take these out so I can take and separate the pump. Okay, so these are all loosened. These will come completely out. Okay, so, but I'm not taking them out. All I'm doing, and, and these, the end of this can actually come off and same with the front. So I don't actually want to actually take them off. So I'm just putting my fingers under it, lift them straight off. And there's the whole motor. Now, if you look on the shaft here, you can get a good shot of that, how pitted. This was caked with, with rust and it expanded and broke that sleeve. So you can imagine this is on here. And with this on here, this is caked with rust inside and expands this the sleeve and cracks it so and that and it wedges itself on there so you have to fight with it to get it off so we took a wire brush to this and got it cleaned up so now it should slide right on and be able to assemble it and we should be good to go all right so we've got a brand new seal kit here it's the housing it's the ceramic seals that go inside so it, it, we'll get this all back up and going so that's it all right
So here we got this new ceramic seal. It's got a rubber back. You want the rubber side to go down. So it goes in here. The ceramic part, you don't want to touch it because if you touch it, you get oils on it, it can burn up. So I'm going to use this piece of paper from this thing and push it in. You want to be gentle with it because you don't want to crack it. If you do touch it, use some alcohol and clean it. So, all right, that seals in. So now for the next seal we got going on here. This, you gotta get it over this. Basically, one side has a rubber gasket to seal on the shaft, and the other side is the, the bearing seal that the two ceramics run together. So what we wanna do though, is get this on here and it's kind of tough so even I think in the instructions it says to use water eh, I probably don't need that I just used a little bit of water and squeak it down so I'm gonna do that now that's the metal sleeve that's the metal sleeve pushed all the way down and then this is ceramic seal if you touch it clean it with alcohol so now on all we're gonna do is put it in here it on so now that it's going on I put the vice grips on the shaft again and then just run it all the way tight turn it clockwise that's it it's on there put the rings back on the housing back together and we'll be done okay so what you're looking at here is this right here is the bottom end of the, the impeller shaft. And this is the metal here that gets all rusted and pitted. So the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and prevent this from happening again where the rust fills this sleeve up inside. The metal expands and breaks this sleeve. I'm gonna try and prevent this by putting Permatex just right around this, all the way around. Put some Permatex on there and hopefully it'll get a little more life out of it. Now what I'm using here is I got some Ultra Blue Permatex, this stuff is some good stuff. So I'm gonna use this to, ch to seal the back end of that shaft. All right, I'm trying, I'm using my finger here. I'm trying to get the silicone just in the end. I don't really wanna pack it in there too much. Okay, so now you can see got the shaft coated. I'm turning this by sticking my fingers into the impeller. So I just put some Permatex on my finger and just made a nice little coating. So that's it. It's ready. It's back together. Ready to go in. it back and working functioning hot tub just put the finishing touches on it get it back together all finished just gotta let it warm up 